Yes, this this project is still still evolving. You know, we started with something simple like water, and then we gotten we we in science we go into ecology, and we thought Chesapeake Bay would be the perfect kind of unit to bring in because we wanted kids to uh, think global but also act local and uh, so it started with the water and it went into the Chesapeake Bay and then in seven and these this applies to our seventh graders and we wanted to also introduce an interdisciplinary unit in seventh grade and somehow water and the Chesapeake Bay lended themselves very well to this because now Monsieur Delaire in French is doing the Niger River and um, the Thai kids and at Kissa doing the Chao Praia River. So we're all getting linked and seeing how important water is. And the whole idea was, of course, that water is going to be one of the global issues facing us in the 21st century. We want the kids to see how fragile this resource is and how precious. Oh, it's been so much fun because they do the same kind of water quality testing that we do. We, of course, do it at Potomac River and they do it on the Char Praia River. And that's Thailand. And um, the kids get together on a live video conference and they squeal with delight because they see some of the results are the same and some of them are completely different. Of course, sadly, the Char Praia River is much more polluted due to human action than the Chesapeake Bay is and uh, but the also the cultural aspects come in because then the children from uh, Bangkok tell us how they celebrate a water festival and how when they go out because our kids when they're on the uh, video conference are telling them please bundle up when you go because it's so cold out on the bay and they're saying what we're perspiring it's so hot here in Bangkok so it's a bit of a cultural exchange it's a bit of fun and uh, the kids see that some problems are common uh, but some are not We are constantly working on updating it and it's constantly evolving. This morning I was talking with Carol who does movies on the environment. So we thought we'd get the seventh graders to make uh, to take uh, photographs when they go out on their boat trips and put together some kind of a slideshow and she would like the Roots and Shoots kids to work on a movie on the Chesapeake Bay in their spare time. So but there's always another notch that we try to add and um, uh, make the kids uh, truly um, think global and act local.